Hi Go Discover fans, uh, the next video in my Go Discover series. In this video I'm going to take you on a narrated FPV flight. Uh, I wanted to test this particular configuration. I wanted to see how far I could get with a stable video signal and uh, check the return to home from a distance to see how, how well it will perform, if it would maintain height and if it's something that I could actually trust where I couldn't see the video signal at all. Um, I've also got the clear dome now, so you're going to see what that looks like. Um, I think it's better than the reflective dome, especially in lower light. But there still are some defects. You'll see a, a ripple in the, in, in the video. So not so great, but still, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, what I want to show you as well before I go into the, to the, the, the FPV flight is my ground station. So I'm running a, a 1.2 gigahertz system here. I have a patch antenna that I bought from uh, BEVRC. Um, an LCD TV I, I just bought off of uh, eBay. Nothing particularly special. Um, just uh, something that was cost effective and uh, something that I could mount uh, on, on my ground station. Uh, around the back I've got two um, video receivers, 1.2 gigahertz receivers from bvrc.com. Um, I bought this box um, from eBay, just a plastic box, and inside here I've got uh, Eagle Tree Eagle Eyes, so I have uh, video diversity. I have two receivers here, and this box inside detects which video signal is better, and then projects that out onto the TV, and yeah, these, these are the ports here for, for my goggles. Um, one receiver is uh, plugged into the patch antenna and uh, another receiver has this omnidirectional antenna so if I fly behind myself a little bit then this one will take over and if I fly very very far away then the, the patch antenna will, uh, will take over. So that's the setup that I have um, and you'll see how far I get uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this video to come. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, give us some thumbs up. Uh, again, leave, leave comments or anything. If you've got any questions, I'll try and help you out uh, with my setup. Cheers. So we start off with a typical groin shot that you get always when you're starting to record FPV with this Go Discover. I'm right, I'm about to take off. I'm using 75% uh, throttle uh, just for a few seconds. Got to be careful with the ESC in this, uh, the, the standard ESC in the Go Discover. You can't run it for, I think it says on the box, more than 20 seconds, otherwise uh, you can burn out the ESC. So what I'm doing here is I'm flying in manual mode. I've got three, three settings, manual, stabilize and return to launch. So I'm just getting a general feel um, uh, of how the plane's flying. Uh, flying at line of sight at the moment uh, and then about to put on my goggles just to make sure that I can get a decent video feed uh, just coming back on myself now you see me down there that's my white car just in the field on the other side of the road so I'm gonna fly I'm gonna fly north in this flight um, because uh, with the way the wind direction is going I had uh, been up uh, once before just to check which way the wind was going and uh, yeah, you always want to fly against the wind on the way out so you've got the benefit of the wind on the way back so now I've put it into um, stabilized mode and uh, I'm just trying to understand how much throttle I need to to be able to fly level um, and I figure out that uh, it's 50% uh, so um, otherwise the the plane will actually lose altitude so um, first of all I just want to make sure that uh, return to home works while I'm still within line of sight um, I'm using um, a 1.2 gigahertz uh, transmitter as you've seen before uh, it's a 700 milliwatt, so it's plenty, plenty power. It shouldn't have any problem with uh, flying around here. But nevertheless, I just want to check um, before I go out of line of sight 
just to make sure that um, uh, that uh, everything is working okay. So I'm going to try return to home. You'll see it snap right in a second. There you go. And the the, the throttle uh, increases. It increased to from from 50% to 75% in uh, return to launch mode. And uh, you see it starts to, to come over my location and it will start to now circle. But, um, but I take it out of uh, return to launch, I think around about here. Yeah, you see that snap again. So, so now I put it in um, stabilize mode and flying actually on the OSD it said 51% throttle. And that allowed me to maintain. Um, uh, level flight. So what my plan was here is to, to fly north. We're flying north right now towards the lake. Uh, we're going to fly over this forest. Um, we're around about 500 meters now and um, now I would lose sight of the model if I if I didn't have my eyes on it. Uh, it would be quite difficult to, to pinpoint in the sky but uh, I have pretty solid vi video. Um, I'm going to go out to to one kilometer, and um, I'm going to uh, just um, fly to the west, um, and then back to the east, just to check um, to check how the um, the video signal is. So 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 now I'm now I'm one kilometer away, and I'm going to fly fly west. I know these uh, forests pretty well. Um, mountain bike in them quite a lot, so so I know my way around this terrain. Uh, I would really suggest that if you're going to do a longer flight out of line of sight, that go onto Google Maps and um, have a look at what it looks like from the air. It's always different, um, and try to stay away from populated areas. Uh, you'll see in this flight, I'm I'm going to fly over over the forests and and um, over the lake so uh, if anything goes wrong I can just ditch it in the woods and go and find it later but hopefully that doesn't happen um, so I'm pretty happy with the signal now uh, I just wanted to check it in, a, in a, the plane in a different orientation uh, and I don't have uh, antenna tracking um, on this particular uh, aeroplane so, so the antenna I have to turn by hand uh, to uh, to point towards the plane, so I'm just checking the the sort of outer limits of of my antenna just to figure out uh, where the dead zones start to come. So I'm going to fly. Uh, I'm flying uh, west now. Uh, sorry, east now. Um, and uh, no, sorry, I'm flying west now. I'm going to do this in one take, so you'll get all of the. The mistakes as well. So I'm flying west um, to, uh, to to where I originally uh, turned, just to check again the signal from another orientation. And uh, now I'm going to start to go a little bit further out. So my plan, that island that's in front of us, I know that that is just around three kilometers from from my position. Uh, I've flown it many many times before with my X7. Um, so I'm, I'm quite comfortable with the, the landscape and where I am. So, and what I'm going to do, I just did it there. I flew out to two kilometers and initiated return to launch. And I just want to check that it's going to go around and point in the right direction. Now those trees in the middle there, um, that's just to the left of that. That's where I'm standing, two kilometers away. So uh, uh, I'm quite happy that it was pointing back home and uh, I didn't lose any video signal while I was making that turn. It's always good, I think, that whenever you're flying um, away from yourself like this and you're not really sure of the um, um, how good your video quality is or let's say how good range you might have, it's always good to, let's say, fly one kilometer out do do a 360 degree turn, fly another kilometer out, do a 360 meter turn, just to make sure that 
you are going to get video um, on, on the backward journey. So, so that's what I did at uh, two kilometers. Uh, coming up soon is three kilometers. Now in the, in the OSD I'm starting to see a little bit of a uh, flicker in the image. It's not so great but I can still make out everything and see all the details. So, so at two kilometers right now I initiate um, the return to launch and again we're going to point towards those trees in the distance now much further away but that's pretty much the direction I'm standing so I'm quite comfortable with that um, so again I put it back into stabilize mode and just make a nice easy gradual turn so so now we're three kilometers out and yeah okay I'm over the lake not such a great idea if all goes goes wrong and I was thinking right now, yeah, where are my speedos? Because maybe I'm going to have to go and grab them if something happens and swim out. It's not going to be a nice swim. It's pretty cold, but never mind. So perhaps not the, the best thing to test. Perhaps better to test over land, but ah, I'm quite confident at this stage. I'll go out to three and a half kilometers. My plan was to go to four. And, um, but uh, the video is starting to flicker too much now, so now I activate return to launch and um, now I say okay, that's enough. Uh, I've tested it out to three and a half kilometers. I am 200 meters up and uh, that's it, that's enough. Um, that's enough for this test, that's, that's all I wanted to really do. Uh, so return to launch, um, I got a good stable video picture now. You can see that there's a bit of jello in the um, in the video image. Uh, it's probably just because I need to balance my prop. When I'm when I'm flying around 50% uh, uh, there is no jello. It's it seems to be okay but uh, at higher throttles and I think around 30% throttle as well I also get uh, quite a bit of vibration so I'll need to balance this prop a little bit properly. Properly. <laughs> anyway, uh, so heading back now. Hands are completely off the sticks. Um, I'm letting the the uh, return to launch mode fly us back, and it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, very very stable. Um, uh, maintaining the altitude. What what I'm what I'm doing now in the OSD is I'm, I'm checking to, to see that I maintaining the altitude uh, it fluctuates between 200 and 193 meters so I'm quite happy with um, with how my my uh, return to launch mode is working um, Perhaps time to talk about the, the dome. Uh, you'll see in the middle of the picture that the landscape looks like it dips down a little bit. If you if you look there, you'll see that um, there's a little ripple in the glass dome. Otherwise, it's it's quite good. Um, not too many defects in this one. Good enough. Nice 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 enough picture. Uh, I hope you're watching it in in uh, full HD. Um, so now we're coming back uh, you can see my car is just a white speck uh, in the middle of the picture sitting there stationary. Um, in this flight I decided that I'll just do a, a little bit of a spin around so I'll cut that out of this video and uh, now we're just getting ready to to uh, lose some altitude and uh, come in for a landing. So pretty happy with with the setup with my configuration. Um, as I said before, I just uh, plan to to have this plane uh, playing around with it uh, within a, a three kilometer uh, distance from home. Without having to, to really think and, and watch the watch the, the distance to home all the time, I just wanted a test to make sure that I got a good video signal and um, good control over my plane. 
and if I needed to I can put it into return to home and, and it can fly all the way back which it did so pretty happy with that um, coming in for landing now see a little bit of vib vibration so the prop needs to be balanced killing the throttle and uh, just flaring up just to come in for a nice smooth landing hope you liked it cheers